Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and you've tuned into another live edition of the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. It's your daily dose of me. It's usually about an hour long, broadcast live on the YouTube, and you can tune in live and get all of TLDR by heading over to chrisperillo.com and signing up to be a patron. That's it. Uh, after I get done discussing today's topic, the internet versus television, or at least three ways that the internet is different from television, and in many ways better, uh, I'm, I'm going to be answering questions from the community of patrons, and then after that, I'm going to be uh, talking about uh, the recent geek news uh, with the patrons. So uh, despite what some people believe, I am still doing this every weekday, as I say every weekday. And today, the day that I'm uh, talking about this topic, it is February 29th. Check your calendars. Leap day. This is a leap year. This is a real date. It's a true date. And to prove it, I'm going to press play. Actually, that that really doesn't prove anything. Um, Back in the day, and I'm talking way back in the day, I was the remote control. If you wanted to change the channel, you would have to get up from wherever you were sitting, or or potentially move from wherever you were standing, and flip a physical knob on a set, which probably was a tube. Not like YouTube, though. Like a real tube, not a series of tubes on the internets. A tube, a cathode ray tube. And you would change the channel. But the thing is, you could probably only change it to one or two other stations. And really, I remember four stations growing up. And I remember getting the fifth station. That was <laughs> that was amazing. And we're talking about the days before the VCR. So I grew up with only a handful of television options. One way the internet is better than television is that uh, there really is no limitation in terms of channels. Everything's a channel. Whether we're talking about an app, a website, uh, a sub-channel on YouTube... Channels are everywhere. The idea of channels has completely been decimated. Yet, the industry, the television industry, is kind of a dinosaur. It is predicated on the model that that medium for broadcasting any amount of content in video format, beaming it directly into people's eyeballs, uh, it's, 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 it's predicated on the model that Television is the only medium for television-style content. That's not the case. The internet, and I know many of you, you get it, but I'm just talking about why I think the internet is better than television in that capacity. And mind you, I I did host at one point in time a, a real television show. It's amazing what happens when you have more than one person doing something. People are, they want me to do that again. I'm like, dude, I need 20 other people to be able to do my job. Just like the video we did the other day, the uh, the basketball thing crushing the uh, the iPhone 6S Plus, that took more than one person. <laughs> I can't do that again without more people. I've been saying that for how many years now? So the television is just this box that sits there. And the internet is everywhere, right? So that's another reason why the internet trumps the television. The television set that television, th- you can, you've got to go to the TV versus going to the internet. Who goes to the internet anymore? Who? There's probably one person out there watching this video that still has a computer room. An internet room. Well, you know, I think that's reasonable if you're a a kid and and you need supervision. And and trust me, there are plenty of adults who are on the internet who need true adult supervision, uh, given the the things that uh, they'll often do on the internet, pretending, you know, to be someone that they're not. Uh, So the idea of having to go to one screen is mildly antiquated. And, you know, the statistics have shown this over and over again, and I I hesitate to bring up statistics because, you know, I'm I'm sure stats can be, you know, uh, twisted one way or another. But it has, the studies have shown, and and I think you could look to your own experience just to, to get a feel, that the older you are, the more you like television. Not to say more than the internet necessarily, but you still have television as a central part of your media digestion lifestyle, whatever you want to uh, label it. But the internet is better than the television in the sense that you can be anywhere and you can get to the internet in a variety of ways. And so that, more than anything, is if, if there was a, a, a bigger... I guess, reason that the internet beats the television is that you're not just beholden to one particular screen. Another way that the internet trumps television is that it's on your schedule. And this kind of falls back on the first point, but not just an infinite 
near infinite because I don't think there's an infinity amount of of uh, channels of content online. There is a finite amount. It's just a large number. And we have the infinite capacity to create uh, more and more content. But <clears throat> again, going back to my lifestyle <laughs> as a kid, a young and with just a handful of channels, uh, long before uh, any uh, option to get more than just three or four channels was available, you had to be at the TV at the time that something was airing. This is even before any kind of VCR. No, no, no. Not DVR. VCR. That, that's what you needed in order to record shows and then go back and watch the shows later after you had uh, recorded them. Uh, this was uh, something that's insanely difficult to explain. But imagine that the only way that you were able to experience something that was broadcast was at a, a specific point in time. For example, the video you're, you're watching, you would never see it. You would never have the option to see it, even though you, you do have the option, you're watching it. You could have watched it live, but most people who are not my patrons are seeing it after the fact, but at least you have that option. You didn't have that option back in the day. If I wanted to see Star Wars, I had to wait until uh, network television broadcast it. That was it. Th that's all. That, that was it. Until we had the option for uh, a VCR. Until we had greater options of a variety of channels through a television set. So there's so many ways that the internet trumps television. And it will continue to be that way. I don't see it changing any. I don't see that trend reversing. And I'm not saying there's not a value in, you know, a quality screen and accessing content through the screen, but the idea of what television was in relation to the internet, it's uh it's yesterday's news, man. Yesterday's news that, you know, honestly, this is one of the reasons I don't necessarily cover news apart from live with my patrons because who wants to watch yesterday's news? You could go to the internet. That's that's what I do. I you know, if I want to know the news, I go to Twitter. And then I wait a day, and then 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 it may show up elsewhere, right? <laughs> it's, it's how it works. That's real time, man. That's real time. Television, not usually as real time as the real world, which is really uh, social media. So those are at least three ways that I think the internet versus television, the internet trumps television in so many ways. Not to be confused with dump. Trump, not dump. Uh, dump. See, there, there, there's a guy. The guy, dump. And then Trump, which is not associated with any name. Dump or Trump. But when I say Trumps, I'm talking about a you know Trump card, like but not the name. Trust me, they're two completely separate things. Uh, not gonna get political. I am going to move on to uh, today's Perillo picks, and then after that, uh, answering questions from the community. And then after that, talking about today's geek news, and uh, then I'm going to be moving on with this leap day. And you know, it's, all, it's, it's falling on a Monday, which sucks. Why can't we just leap over Monday? Let's make Friday part of the weekend. And give every new baby chocolate eclair. Today's free podcast highlight was brought to you by all of my active patrons from chrisperillo.com. If you want access to the full TLDR episodes, both audio, video, past, present, and future, which can be up to an hour long or longer, with even more tech insight from me every weekday, plus other bonus content without ads, and support me at the same time, <clears throat> you can sign up to become one of my supernomies too. This is just a brief taste of what I'm producing for you daily. Again, get more through chrisperillo.com.